Well, okay. So what am I doing? <laughs> you can recognize the fly sky control. And that's wired up. And <clears throat> this is a little bit of a RC demo, radio control demo, um, of my test platform, wherein I'm running code and talking to, powered by Bench Power Supply, uh, this guy. <laughs> so this is my uh, two-wheel test platform. And you can see that normally I'd have the battery hooked up, but I have the bench power supply hooked up instead at this point. Uh, this is nothing more than um, power distribution, fuses, and a five volt supply so I can actually drive the P2 plus a Raspberry Pi, and then the FlySky controller. And what you can see here is I had to. Uh, uh, run an extra 5 volt line for the fly sky controller so we could play with that. But that's pretty much what we have. That's our two wheel platform. Okay, so now I'm going to be using this. <clears throat> I can't keep it in frame, but I can show you that I'm driving the motors. You can hear them being driven. You can hear that the uh, ramping up and down. Not quite what I want it to be right now. There's too much torque. That's the noise you're hearing when I slow down. So I've got some improvement to make on the internal ramps. Uh, there will be likely external control of the ramps, but the internal ones right now could be improved. So you can see it jumping around. There's a lot of torque here. Now I also have steering in here. So hard right, hard left, right? And then I can just gradually, whoops, gradually let go of the yoke. And you see the other wheel go. That's my steering control so far. So you can see it's pretty responsive already. Whoa, hello. Somebody's running away. Yeah, we gotta get rid of that kicking. <laughs> I've not really added any control margin. To the zero stop point it's just i just dialed in using these adjusters the zeros and so zero is stopped so i just want you to hear that as well yep it doesn't it will stop quickly and that's a really bad thing for these motors because it'll fault and then just shut itself off so that's why we're putting in the ramps okay that's all i have for now Okay, so now let's, uh, as a last thing we'll do here in this demo is we'll take a look at the uh, material you're going to find at the website with the uh, motor controller. I don't know if I've shown you this. I, you might have seen part of this before. Um, here is the uh, uh, drawing files for my platform. This is the platform I'm actually using. Um, these are little standoffs for the motors. So the casters are higher than the wheel motors themselves. They're little quarter inch things made out of the same thing. This is, I, I did this out of quarter inch MDF, as you can see here. Um, okay, so what are we looking at here? Uh, single and two wheeled motor control objects for the BLDC motors. Uh, let's take a look at the interfaces. And so we have a steering object. Provide steering for both wheels. And the steering object here is uh, drive with power and direction where direction distributes the power to the wheels. 
This is the maximum power of the fastest wheel, I think, is how that's going to work. I'm just putting in that. That's what you see me driving with Flysky right now, is I'm driving power and direction with the two joysticks. And you can see that it's just minus 100 to plus 100 for both fields. Uh, drive for distance. Uh, this code is all in there and working. Uh, there are more distance units than this. I got to update the dock. Um, drive at power. Where you can control each of the each of the wheels independently. Stop after rotation. So you say I want to drive. Um, you can stop after a distance through rotation or a distance in distance units, and you can stop after time. And so basically, you said uh, let's say drive 50% power both wheels. It's going to go straight ahead, and you say stop after two feet or something like that. You can actually ask it to do that. Pretty easy. Uh, starting assigning the base pins for the pin groups for the cards. Stop, set acceleration speed, max speed for distance. Um, this allows you to do braking or just turn off the power at the end of a tra uh, travel when you say stop. Um, this is reset tracking. It tracks in distance. You can reset it and then you can see how far the, the hull sensors have indicated you moved. And so that's what we currently have, get power and get status. So this is the last power you assigned uh, to each motor. Same thing with status. Is the wheel stopped? Is it moving? Are we, trying, are we running to go somewhere? That kind of thing. Then you have the motor itself, which has a very similar interface, but now you're talking just about one motor. The steering object you have right here controls the motors as a pair. And so you get the... Uh, that's why you get a uh, direction involved. If you had just a single motor control, um, then they've got similar interfaces. So drive, uh, spin the single motor for distance, drive at power, stop after rotation, stop after distance, stop at every time. That's all here. Same thing with start. We don't know if we're going to be using Calibrate yet. Uh, there's your reset tracking and there's your get information. And that's pretty much the new interface for the motors. I just wanted you to make sure you knew that this kind of documentation is going to be available. This is also in the, as a dot comments within the code itself when you get the spin code. So that's what I have for the motor drive. Um, let's see if I can show you one more thing. Um, there are also drawings of how I anticipated if you're using uh, with the different boards. So here's the edge. Many, like the arrangement I have, I, su I suggested I could put two batteries down below if I wanted to. Uh, Johnny Mac board, uh, where it would be located on that little tiny platform, that's a 17 and a half inch platform. And then I had suggested a square platform as well, and I don't have the diagrams in here for the new wheel enclosing platform. But you get an idea of dimensions that I used. Uh, 25 by 16 if you wanted a rectangular. All I did was make sure the wheels were balanced in that case of the single caster. So uh, just various resources. Um, at, that was two scale drawings uh, at the website. All right. Thank you for watching.